What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be unboxing a whole lot of goodies that my friends over at the Fly Project USA sent to me. They take great care of their people and I am so, so stoked to show you guys all these incredible products. They are gonna help me get on the water and keep my stuff organized, fish better, look good, fish good, all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. Not only are we gonna be unboxing brand new products, but I'm gonna be showing you a couple of Fly Project items that I've been using over the last couple months and have done me well. First things first, we have a rad little box, not so little actually, but this is gonna be sweet. I mean, for streamers or dries, it's a great boat box. Will fit in my backpack, no doubt. Next up is a rad little t-shirt in a large. Nothing on the back, but super clean. Let's change into that. Much better. We're getting right into it, we have a sweet little cap. Now, this cap has a backstory. So I went ahead and wrote a blog for the Fly Project a little bit ago about me and my friend Bryce catching my personal best pike and how in my time in college, I didn't just trout fish, but I started getting addicted to pike fishing. Check that little blog out if you get the chance. Um, 40 or bust. It's pretty rad. The pike that I caught was not 40, but it was a very, very large three foot class pike that the eat has me full of just energy because I wanna go pike fishing right now. They're like one of my favorite fish to catch. A lot of people don't like them, but holy cow, like a pike on fly is epic. I love them. So I had to write a little something about it and my experience catching that fish and fishing for other ones in you know the frog sections of rivers. Let's throw this hat on. Now we are decked out. Fire. Okay, next up, we have a Montucky fly reel. So this fly reel, I've used one in the past, a very small little three weight one. It's on my Euro rod right now. Out of the box. Oh wait, this is seven nine. So it's a little bit bigger reel. And the main reason I got it was to either put it on one of the rods you'll see, or to be my saltwater reel. Um, it's not necessarily designated to be a saltwater reel, but it totally can be. Um, I have a Cheeky that I've been using in the salt quite a bit. And I was using this Cheeky, which it has done a phenomenal job, on my... Fly Project Squatch nine weight. So this nine foot nine has been epic for catching tarpon in Puerto Rico. I've used it in Florida. It's done a great job. Very, very strong rod for a nine. It's out really quick. This is not a new product. I've been using it for the last couple of months. And it's pretty sick. It's red and black. Sorry, there is some tape on there. By the way, that's a Kelly Gallup trick. If your rods ever get stuck, tape the ends and then they will pull apart. It's pretty rad. It has the little 9-9 lineup right there. I really like that part about it. I'm going to showcase some videos that I have filmed with the Squatch, some fish I've caught with the Squatch. So let's roll a little highlight reel. Gotta crush it. Ready? Ready? Oh, here he comes. Got him. Got him. Got him. There he goes. That is perfect. Oh, still there. Ready? Watch this. Juvie. Woo! That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yay! 
Yeah! We did it! <laughs> Just beginner's luck, really. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed a couple of those clips with the nine weight squatch. Used it quite a bit. Now where were we? We were back to the reel. Kind of hopped all over the place, but this reel is gonna go great on that nine weight squatch. Outside the case, we have a look here. That is minty. It's looking very, very nice. So this is definitely gonna go on that nine or like a seven or eight weight on any streamer rods I have. Uh, but this is gonna be perfect. It's got a nice large spool. You just hit this button right here on the Montucky, push it in and the spool slides out. Very, very nice. So light. I'll throw this on the Squatch right now. Now, granted this reel is in like the seven to nine class, so it's not anywhere near like the nine to 10. It's definitely a seven, eight, nine weight reel. So. You know, if I know that I'm not getting spooled by fish that where I need like four to 500 yards of backing, this should be perfect for two to 300 yards of backing and a seven or eight weight fly line. I like to underweight my lines on my rods sometimes for accuracy reasons, but when you overweight, you can definitely cast easier. Next up we have, this is a new product of the Fly Project. This is their new top shelf backing. 300 yards, 65 pound test, 37 millimeter. This is gonna be nice. I love this color, it's pretty sick. Let's throw this on the Montucky. All right guys, we are going to put on the H strand, 5.0 top shelf backing. On to the new 7.9 Montucky. It's gonna be a rad combo. This nine weight squatch rod and this black Montucky fly reel, they're gonna be coming on a trip with me to British Columbia, Canada, which will be very, very soon. And this is gonna be like our streamer rod for, you know, in between cutthroat or bull trout. And it'll also be our steelhead nymph rod off the boat. I love to swing for steelhead. It's gonna be the primary idea and target, but we are gonna, do some nymphing for them as well. And you know, when you're floating down the river, I want to line the water. So this will be kind of our, our in between the water rod and real setup. So I'll put like a eight weight, nine weight, either switch chucker fly line on this nine foot nine or a typical like streamer line, you know, because I'm not doing this on a machine in my local fly shop, like I told you guys you should do. It's going to take a minute. First impressions of this backing. It's very, very smooth. And it's very strong. I mean, give it a quick dangerous test with our hands. There's like no stretch at all, which is pretty good. Check it out. So, as we're talking about reels, there's something else in this box. So these are not from the Fly Project, but I wanted to throw these in here for part of this video because I'm going to be rigging. I got a Rio Switch Chucker and a Skagit Max Power. Um, the Fly Project is gonna be helping me with this British Columbia trip, so thank you guys so much. This is all happening because of them. Sweet little mug with the Pike Story and Check this out, here we go. We'll get back to what's in the mug. There's a little, there's some goodies inside the mug as well. But I'm all over the place with this. Check this out guys. We have two, we have two of the Fly Project Model OC reels in the nine and 10. I am so stoked for these, they sent two of them to help my buddy Derek and I, who's gonna be coming on the British Columbia trip, comes in a rad little case as well. And 
this is gonna go with this line and I'm gonna go on their website and buy another thing of top shelf backing because it's pretty rad and I want them all in the same colors, duh. The Montucky is so clean and simple, but this one right here is like your freaking shelf reel. This thing is, oh, it's so sick. It's so clean, look at the little handle. That is just fire. It's got kind of the more the longer spool approach, not so much the, it's not so wide. It's kind of tall, if you will. And dude, this is gonna be on the spay rods because it's gonna have a nice clean drag, a little bit of that good noise you want. I'm fired up. The Montucky was a button push, but with this one, you have to unscrew this and then it comes apart. That's how it looks on the inside. Another really light reel. These reels are nice. I like a light reel. I don't like it to be too heavy. Before I put on that line, check it out. These are products they already sent me, but they're still brand new. Not a part of this box. I here have, to go with the two OCs, I have two Project One spay rods. These things are rad. So I have a 12 foot, six inch, six weight and I'll throw in, I'm gonna be throwing that OC onto these two rods. So these are gonna be the spay rods for the trip. Um, if we need an eight weight or something bigger for swift current, we will use it, but we are definitely gonna be fishing six weights on this, on this epic trip. And this six weight is a rad rod to get, you know, tugged around on by a, a big steelhead. Could be undergunned in some cases, the fly line I got is a 6.7, 475 grain. So I'm gonna continue to put the, the reel with the line and the backing on, but I wanted to hook it up to at least the cork of one of these. So check it out outside. This is the Project One. 12 foot six, six weight. We're just gonna take the base piece. Always the first one on first. Get that one nice and tight. And we're going to cinch that. But dude, talk about a bad to the bone setup. It's gonna be a, a dirty swing setup. Wow, I put on the most perfect amount of backing. With, you know, big, big, big shooting heads like this, you don't want it to be uncomfortable at the front of your reel. Check it out. There's the OC, nine and 10, on my Project One 12 foot six, six weight. Okay, I didn't want to skip over this product, but this mug is rad. So you have the, the pike, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but the Esox Lucius, that's probably so wrong, or Luscious, but that would be the Latin name for Northern Pike. And it is so cool the fact that I have a hat right now and a mug made after that little story I wrote. So once again, thank you guys so much. Part of their House of Fly, that's where all their blogs live. The Montana Pike Project. And in here, like I was showing you earlier, are some freaking goodies. So the Fly Project had this big sale where they sold a lot of their flies for half off, and I hopped on that. Thankfully, I got this baby. There's even foam on the handle, that's pretty sick. Check that out. So on the handle there's foam, so when you use flies, you can stick them there. Like let's say this is beside me when I'm rowing my drift boat. If I like, we switch flies out, you can stick them on the outside handle and that foam to dry. Cause you don't wanna put wet hooks and stuff back in your box. It can bleed out the marabou to your other colored flies and or um, rust your hooks. But there's a good bit of flies in here that I got for half off. From nymphs to streamers to steelhead flies. Okay, so can't go wrong with a good old freaking dungeon. Olive, black, white. I love that tan accent on this pattern. And there's a pile of nymphs in here. I'll show you guys in a separate little clip. Bunch of different colors. 
And then along with the streamers and the nymphs, I got two rad little intruders. I got a purple and an orange, and those will be great for steelhead in clear water because they're not, not too large, you know? You know, some steelhead flies in the winter, which we might be using a little bit bigger and shooter style flies for kind of spring and winter steelhead. But if you have clear water and you're in the fall, these little patterns are perfect. Or if you're fishing kind of a smaller tributary with clear water, a small fly like this would do perfect. Let's stick these in our box. The foam inserts are nice and tight. Nice and tight, get it right. Can't go wrong with having a pile of dungeons. And I think it's always good, you know, with your streamers. You could have some crazy colors, but uh, can't go wrong with olive, tan, and black, and white. Basic, basic stuff. All right, that's all of them. Six dungeons, four streamers, and 28 nymphs, because those get snagged all the time. Fly project off the haul, baby. We have a couple of things left in our box. Some freaking koozies, look at how sick that is. One thing I love is they kind of come up with the raddest little ideas. It's got a style, you know? Now I'm 21. Throw a little beer in here. How about that? Couple sick koozies. It's my favorite one. Are you a banana believer or not? Does it go on your boat or not? You guys leave it in the comments below. Banana on the boat? Does it catch fish or does it lose them? Let's freaking throw these stickers on. Oh, I like this one. See, that's what I mean. They just have like such a cool style. It's unique. Let's throw a couple of these on our new box. One. Fly project early and often. It's kind of a sweet little like vintage design. How about that? And there's more. I'm hiding more to my left over here. So for the box, that's everything. And this would be the last item of the unboxing. Let's get into it. Uh oh. Whoa, new case. I don't have this type of case yet. Holy smokes, this is sick. Check this case out. I like this. So I have this case. I have this case. And then I have, this is what my Squatch came in. Because the Squatch, see the little Squatch? Little Sasquatch. I will definitely use it. Dude. Super sick. Oh baby. What? Dude. I'm like, this rod like took my breath away. This is the nicest fly rod I own. Dude, the Jackalope nine foot four weight. Beautiful. The most beautiful fly rod I own now. Look at this color. That's just sick, dude. Beauty. Look at this little baby fighting butt. Dude, that's mint. For like tailwaters, um, spring creek fishing, nine foot four, a must have in your arsenal. Really good for throwing, you know, 12 foot long leaders and just being super light, landing it soft. And then when you hook nice fish with small hooks and light tippet, you want a soft, 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 soft feel. And it's gonna feel bigger on the four. This is a must have in your arsenal and now I got it. So thank you guys. We've made it to the end of the video. We are absolutely decked out in Fly Project gear now. A huge thank you. You guys take care of your people so well. I have a sweet box, got some flies, self-tied, made in America, got two of the model OCs, got two Project Ones for steelhead fishing. If you haven't read the new article or the new blog on House of Fly, check it out if you like to pike fish or want to hear a cool or want to read a cool story. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much to the Fly Project for all the bad to the bone products. Keep making them. And they say it best, 
Good luck and safe travels.